and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a fun one. We have a deck that I'm calling Pirate Lux, um, and this was a this was a donation deck from a viewer. And kind of looking over this, figured out what we're really trying to do here, though. Um, you know, we have Lux with um, with Bilgewater and with all of these kind of pirate cards and Bilgewater and a bunch of powder kegs. You may notice that we have. You know, deck hand. We have three more powders. We have petty officer. We have gangplank. So we have lots and lots of ways to get powder kegs in play. I was looking. at it, I was like, well, we don't have that many uses for powder keg with parlay and make it rain. Kind of being about it until like Lux's like final spark. So I was like, why? Why do we have all these powder kegs? We don't have, really have that many ways to use them. And I think our reason here is we got unyielding spirit. So we are gonna have unyielding spirit putting this on powder kegs and then trying to stack up a whole bunch of powder kegs that you can't kill and then any of our spells are ridiculous like think if we have like five powder kegs in play that don't die and then we play make it rain we'll do like six damage to three different random enemies and that's just insane um you know i can't even imagine having like that many powder kegs and then playing like a riptide rex like that's just unbelievable so that's kind of the the goal of our deck we're we're memeing it up here. We got unyielding spirit plus powder kegs. We need more powder. That's what we, we need. We need some more powder. But of course, unyielding spirit on my like gangplank would be really nice. Also, keep that thing from dying. Put it on Lux is of course really good too. And that's kind of that's kind of what our our deck's all about. We got a sweet top end. So let's hopefully not face too much Ionia and their bounce. And let's have some fun. All right, let's head on over to the Slotted Docks. That's fun to say. And we'll have Demacius Leaves in the Slotted Docks. Obviously, we need the Powder Monkey with our Powder Keg deck. Here we go, Pirate Lux. I hope we get a couple of wins with this. But yeah, this is a donation deck. That's what the two Ds mean. If you... Um, if you are watching this later on YouTube, if you want to have your own deck played on stream, you want uh, you want me to play a deck. It's just a ten dollar donation. That's it. There's a link. There's a donation link uh, in the video description, and you just can put your deck code. Or if you want me to build the deck for you, I will do that also. And you just you just put your deck idea. Tell me like what parameters you want me to build around. And yeah, it's just a ten dollar donation, and then I'll play it the next day. It's as easy as that. And of course, make a YouTube video of it, play five games over in ranked, and you know you can have me test out your deck in Masters rank. All right, so we're going to usually be mulliganing Unyielding Spirit, but I feel like we should keep it. Ooh, we played this deck yesterday. This deck is awesome. Puffcat Plunder, played that yesterday. Let's get rid of Detain. And, mm, we have more Unyielding Spirits. We'll draw another one. We'll. Mulligan those cards. Cool. Turn three remembrance is kind of what we want. Oh, I wish I would have sent the gangplank back. Oh right, this thing attunes. We can just play this. And still have turn three remembrance. Which is why this is an important one drop for us. Winter take you! All right, well, if I would have played that on turn one, I probably would have got two points of damage in. I don't know if this deck, this game will really come down to two points of damage, but we'll see. Scout. <laughs> Big ol' moose. Big moose belly. All right, they just uh, thermogenic beamed. A scout. Hmm. 
kind of don't want to do anything. Sure, I'll just pass. Okay. So I want to get more mana to have Unyielding Spirit next turn. Uh, they're, they'll kill this, this Powder Keg, but that's fine. We'll get another one. I think my plan is, because we have two Unyielding Spirits, so I think my plan is Unyielding Spirit, the Lux, and then Unyielding Spirit, a Powder Keg. Could just Unyielding Spirit this Gangplank. Nah, Lux. Let the light guide you. Is nothing. E. That's not bad. Another day in the field. I'll pick him, you plan him, kid. Timo. I don't think they'll have anything. I want to see if they would, they would block. I don't think they'll have anything to... Um, to break this up. I don't think they'll have anything that, that breaks up Unyielding Spirit. Nothing I can think of, at least. <laughs> Poor Timo. I know, you were just trying to help. I watched the monster. <laughs> it approaches. It is kind of bad that they get to, um, the fruits of you know, like, it's still vulnerable. They, like, with Overwhelm stuff, they get to challenge my Powder Keg. <laughs> Alright, this is the first time I've ever done this. Sure. This is gonna be, this is pretty great, though. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever had... Unyielding Spirit Powder Gang. Shine with me. I get to just block this? Why didn't... I think they might have forgotten about the vulnerability. Give me a Powder Keg. All right, make it rain. Make it rain.
Sure. Clear up some space for me. Okay, this is pretty sweet. This is pretty sweet. Guess I really should kill that thing before we get more pup caps. Board space doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. You can just play stuff over other things. I think that's probably a good change overall. The, the you're not just stuck with cards in hand. But there's definitely times where you'd kind of play that way. Where you try to fill up an opponent's board. I, I know I've won you know, before. I win a, won a couple of games like that where... You know, they'd have like spiders and stuff and you just never block anything and you and not let them play anything else. Alright, so wait, we get to double the damage? There's no fighters. Ouch. So this does six? <laughs> We're doubling the damage of these spells and everything now. Oh man, this is silly. That will create a final spark for me. <laughs> oh, this is pretty great. That does 12. And this still does 6 to something. If it dies, 6 to something else. <laughs> Just never even need to attack. Oh man, this is us living the dream. Never needed to attack. Probably could have attacked, but didn't need to. Wow, we lived the dream game one. It's not getting any better than that. <laughs> it's not getting any better than that. First game with the deck. Unyielding Spirit, the Lux, and the Powder Keg. That was pretty great. Alright, now we're facing some control. Twisted Sin. I want to keep Salvage. I don't think I want to mulligan all these. That Gangplank didn't really do anything for me. I probably could have attacked with it. But we didn't need to. So unfortunately, this deck does have a whole lot of bounce, and so our, we're not a very good Unyielding Spirit deck because besides regular Will of Ionia, they're going to be playing Dragon's Rage with Lee Sin, just like the Lee Sin Champion spell. So they got lots of bounce, unfortunately. Sure, you got me. Didn't grab. Didn't do the powder kegs. I just felt like it was pretty likely the powder keg would die before I did anything with it. Hmm. 
Maybe, maybe I should have. Because if I would have powder kegged, then I could do two more powder kegs and then make it rain. Oh, no, I couldn't because I wouldn't have that one extra mana. So I want it, basically I'm playing this because we would we would waste a mana if I would just pass. So I'm going to play Gangplank and then have the three powder kegs and now we still have mana for Make It Rain. That was going to be such a good Mega Rain. Yeah, Ionia Control. This is going to be difficult for us. Everywhere I go, the light follows. So that probably gets bounced. Gangplank easier. It does feel like Twisted Fate would just be better in our deck than Gangplank. Probably, I guess. So there is this. We just don't ever level it up. Their bones are splinter. Do I look like a patient man? Not really. Let them bleed out. No, Rex. I need that Riftide Rex. Basically, the problem with attacking is they get to um, just play two spells and then Lee Sin as a barrier, and then it looks bad. Does it fate's at three? Oh, come on. They stole my unyielding spirit? That's so mean. I still have four mana for deny. Need detain to resolve. How do I make sure detain resolves? I'm one mana short of having unyielding spirit plus detain. I did get a haircut, yes. So 
have 11 mana. Minus 5 is 6. What can I do with 6 mana? I can do 3, 4, 5. You fight or you swim! Round them up! <laughs> Lovely since this kick is so cool. This kick is pretty cool. Everyone pays. So like our, our allied unit's gonna die. They'll get Lee Sin back. But at least the unyielding spirit's gonna be gone. Basically just trying to get them to tap out. Finally did. Sin's gone for the moment. For the moment. Lee Sin will be back. That's something we all know. I probably should have just detained on the Petty Officer. They're both as easy to kill, and I'd rather them get rid of the Petty Officer. I mean, if I if I unyielding like they still have Will of Ionia, right? Like they still they're gonna bounce my gangplank. It's very very easy to do that. You dare slack on my ship. Like they don't. I guess they have some direct damage. I, mean, I could try it. I mean, I guess I'd force them to have bounce spell. Yeah, they get yeah, they get Lee Sin back. Whenever whenever this leaves the battlefield, they get Lee Sin back. Yeah, I don't have any good options. Stop. Don't be so cranky. Can't protect Gangplank from, um, the dark from bounce no matter what. But waiting, like this turn, being able to play Lux, I still have, like last turn we had nine total mana, so I didn't have like Lux plus back to back. So now I, I at least still have back to back. So they just have like Twisted Fate do one damage to stuff kind of thing. 
I still have back to back available for the time being. It's possible I just shouldn't c care too much about them killing Gangplank, maybe? shouldn't be prioritizing it as much. Maybe I should just, you know, unyielding spirit these powder kegs and start going crazy with these parlays. so worried about balance and I guess they just don't have it. But yeah, they, they tapped out of, of balance and decided to go for it. What's up, Mike? Oh, man. I, I didn't think we are going to win that. Sweet. Alright, we are 2-0. and oh. Yeah, I did play very scared because I was very scared. 2-0 with Pirate Lux. Mike, you missed the game one. Game one it was amazing. We lived the dream. We got to Unyielding Spirit, not only Lux, but we also Unyielding Spirit Powder Keg, which is kind of what our deck's about. And so we were just stacking Powder Kegs. And uh, then we got a, a Gangplank in play also, so it doubled. <laughs> and so, like, Final Spark was doing 12 damage. <laughs> uh, it was awesome. All right, well, we're playing against Burn. Burn is the jank killer. Unfortunately, but we do have these things. We have a little bit of cheap removal. So they're attacking turn... Like, if they weren't attacking turn one, I wouldn't play this. I would stay... I would wait to make it rain. But them attacking turn one, I don't want to just take three. And then they play, like, Crimson Disciple... And then I'm, after they play Crimson Disciple, I'm like, well, now I don't want to play Mega Rain. First big mission. Don't mind me. Time to go. Well, I'm glad I didn't just play the more powder last turn, because if I would have done that, then they would have just gone straight to combat and... Um, they're not going to have one mana removal, right?
All right, so make a rain. Four damage to three enemies. And I have protection for if, if they do have removal for my powder kegs here. Yeah, get rid of those two cards with my other. So, so this first make it rain got rid of those two cards. And now that make it rain ended the game. What is up? Pirate Lux 3 and 0? Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Pirate Lux. Let's go. Making it rain. People can't handle those indestructible powder kegs. No, not this deck. They got Will of Ionia too. I don't like it. I kind of want to just keep this. Go aggro. We don't need the second Petty Officer. Eh, we don't really need that card. Chaos says, even if you went 0-3, this would still be an awesome deck, but 3-0 is just crazy. I know, right? <laughs> so do we play this on turn 2 and risk them playing Eye of the Dragon to block? And then I don't get to attack? This is an easy decision now. Obviously, we're playing it. The other thing was going straight to attacks before playing this, but yeah, now we're just playing it. I would like Remembrance would be a good draw because we could still have six mana next turn for Remembrance. Thank you. Hmm. Unfortunately, I have nothing to do this turn. I just don't even have anything to play. Is this a summon trigger? No, it's a play trigger. Alright, it can't be worth it to pain. I have survived so far. From going in and getting my hair cut, I have survived so far. <clears throat> Y'all think I should play more powder and then next turn on Yielding Spirit, the more powder? I just hope they don't have any bounce. That's probably not the best plan. Cool. All right, we got Remembrance. The dark beckons. Yeah, I was the first person in. Like whenever they opened the shop. And... Uh, one other person came in and, you know, was across the, the place from me, but, you know, like, we were... We were, uh, everyone was required to wear a mask. As soon as I came in, they had me go wash my hands, which, of course, I did before I left the house anyway, but that's still good. Good business practice, probably. Should I just play Lux? And then attack? this up.
Like they could have a Vi. Darn. That didn't work out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is it is rough drawing Riptide Rex early, but the the card is so good. It just wins games. I think it's worth the risk of drawing early. Final spark. Hopefully no Will of Ionias. Playing something else to pump Vi up to ten. Well, Lux doesn't take damage, so don't know if there's any. Don't know if that actually takes damage. So, a reminder. We got early stream tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, that maybe that time frame works better for you. Hope you stop by, check out the stream tomorrow. No more holding back. I'm doing this. We got the early Friday stream, the the getaway day stream. So definitely a good sign. This is just free. That they didn't bounce my locks, it's a good sign. Really wish I had 10 mana, really wish I could more powder and then unyielding spirit, the more powder. digging. What, what what I'm thinking here, I don't like these are slow sp spells. I can't respond to a Will of Ionia now. That was like my way to respond to get another final spark. So I don't really know what I'm thinking, like why I would cast that. I should just let damage happen and pass turn basically, and, and kind of keep denying everything and just don't play anything else.
That's good. It's a good case scenario for me. A lot of bad case scenarios of Will of Ionia. But that's good. We're gonna need more powder. We'll get rid of these powder kegs. But we can make more. I don't want to play this before combat with like the whole challenge thing. They have 10 cards in hand, so I feel like they're going to be playing something else. And not burning cards. Let's go! Unyielding powder kegs! Which I can detain if need be. We're going to try to parlay. Deal four to it, four to them. No! Didn't pay close enough attention to my life total, and we got burned out. You know, I was at, what, 15 the turn before? And, you know, could have... Could have killed that their 2-2 two -two elusive more aggressively, but... You're not used to that deck being able to burn you out from 15. They had one attack for two, and then the get excited for three, and then Karma, another get excited... When you want a ship to go boom, you call Riptide Rex. 
All right, Werner. Yep, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. All right, another Videk. Okay, or not. That was weird. Four and one, our deck's awesome. Yeah, cool deck still. Ah, I feel bad. I feel like I, I could have killed that 2-2 earlier with my parlay. Basically, the, my last attacking turn, I played the I played the more powder to get, like, the thing that I did wrong. I played the more powder to get the final spark, and then I final sparked the Vi for six. Instead, I had one extra mana. I could have used that one extra mana and then killed their 2-2 their elusive 2-2 and still had the final spark kill the vibe the reason why i didn't really do that is because i wanted to keep the 10 you know then we would have only had nine mana the next turn and i wanted to have 10 so i could play more powder and play unyielding spirit um as well so that's why i didn't do that all right playing against burn again we have much worse hand against burn than we did the last time whenever we beat burn our hand was awesome with the parlay and the double make it rain this time and not so good oh i can't wait Give us the 5-5 five, five, tough. 5-5 five, five, tough. 5-5 five, five, tough. Yeah. This guy's tough to kill. If they don't break, they'll burn. For the glory of Noxus. That's such a good combo. So much damage. how far behind we are we are priced into doing that first which would mean that if they would have um you know like a noxion fervor or something or a transfusion like they could they could get me but I'm glad we played that instead of playing the Shell Shocker, because that card doesn't do anything. I really want to detain that card, honestly. Okay, so now we know they won't have removal right now. Stop. Stop. Already up. Three. It's a block here, and we're at four. Light fall. 
follows. All right, three and two. We held our own against Burn. We went one and one against Burn, which, as we know, Burn is a killer for jank. And so we had some jank, and we had uh, held our own against Burn. Pretty sweet deck. Pretty sweet deck. Started off really well with that 3-0. And then I feel like I probably had I feel like I had the cards to win that game four, but I played I played a little I didn't play aggressively enough the game four. Um yeah, like I, I just did not I didn't play aggressively enough. And like they didn't have the way to bounce, and you know, they just had barely enough burn to kill me. Which was sad. Um, but that was cool. That was a cool deck. Unyielding Spirit on a Powder Keg. That was my first time doing that. That was awesome. And yeah, that game one, we really got to show off the deck that game one. That was cool. All right, there we go. That's Pow Pirate Lux. Those of y'all on YouTube, hit that like button over there. This one was sweet. Definitely hit that like button and leave those comments. Um, yeah, this could have been, we could have done this, could have saved this for Meme Tier Monday. Um, but this was a donation deck, so we went ahead and played it. Maybe we'll play it again on Meme Tier Monday. Let me know in the comments if you want to, you know, see this one again. What's up, Sidge Mister? All right, but that's it here for Pirate Lux. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.